Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back for a whole new week on the eve of the election. Good to see you all. Hopefully everyone enjoyed their weekend. Good to see you, Ken, Mark. Good to see you, Neil, Fernando, everyone. All right. Well, guys, uh, I guess everybody's all getting ready. What's going on with the market? So uh, one big thing um, that I met a couple of my friends this weekend regarding uh, about the market and about the elections, this and that. And uh, I, I just got one very important thing to always say about how to trade this market. Don't question, all right? One biggest thing I learned from my mentor, Urs, I had more than one actually, they said, Fausto, and you hear me say this in class all the time, this is Fausto, once you think you know something about the stock market, you're going to lose. And I'm like, well, why is that? He said, because it's not what you think, it's what you, it's what everyone else, it's what the, the, the big guys on the floor think. So all you have to do is just follow what they're doing. Once you think you're smarter than them, you're going to lose. And let me tell you something. Not only did I learn that personally, because I went out there and if it was because I love the company so much and I'm like, God, it's impossible. The other company is such a garbage company. It's got to do better. I love this. And then and all of a sudden, I went down and down and down and got crushed. And listen, I lose money all the time. So I'm going to tell you, I mean, I win more than I lose, but I learn from my losses. That's one of the things you learn in class. And then, you know, when you start, and, and no matter what you, what you compare it, even if it's your, you know, political beliefs and this and that, what the market's going to do and how it's going to react and says, oh, this is not going to crash because, you know, that, that's just a room. Listen, don't, don't question what, what you think. Just follow the money. Remember the biggest thing I always tell you, follow the money. That's all you have to do. There are companies out there that I love to death, and I, and I say, you know what? I, I got to short it. What am I going to do, go long? I mean, it's just what it is. You know, how many of you, how many of you people know um, that houses, uh, people that you know personally, and they had to file bankruptcy, and be like, damn, you know, I feel so bad for that guy. I wish, you know, it's just terrible. It's a terrible situation. What, what the hell happened? And then all of a sudden, he's having, or your favorite store that got closed down, one of my kids' favorite stores, uh, Toys R Us, right? Went out there and, and, and went out of business. I'm like, oh, I love that store. But you think it stopped my kids going there when they, when they had a clearance and they were selling everything out for 70% off? It's like Sears. Who doesn't like Sears? So because you love Sears so much, you're not going to go there and benefit from their catastrophe by now going there and getting everything on sale? So just keep in mind, guys. When it comes to trading, you got to take what's out there, okay? You got to take what's out there, and you got to be careful. You shop that pay, uh, pay at JCPenney's, right? How's that working out for you, Ken? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a, a $50 stock. There's no way that JCPenney's is, is worse, you know, that Macy's is worth more than that. You, and you know what blows my mind? You know what really blows my mind? Um, what's, what's a stock that you would never even think of? um burlington co-factory it's like what it's trading at what like what it's like 60 70 90 dollars i like i really i'm like but what is what it is so don't question the street so going in this this morning you know we had some great rallies we had phenomenal op uh uh numbers on friday job numbers were off the charts but once again, there's always something else. You'd be like, oh, it's got to be positive. It's got to be great. The market should be up, right? And sure enough, something else turned it around. So anyway, what I'm, what I'm telling you right now is that we're going into the midterms tomorrow. And, you know, the first thing I'm doing is uh, that I already did already on Friday. I'm in cash. Okay. I sold. I told you this two, three months ago. I'm selling everything. I'm not in anything. I got rid of all my swing trades. I'm going to sit back. I told you that's what traders do in October. They talk about the October crash. Listen, it's all about them booking and getting their holiday bonuses, uh, you know, because they, they have to have it in before and be out of those positions. So I, that's why I always, it's, it's just so coincidental. It's always in October, you know? So, um, so anyway, so that's what's going on. So be very careful, guys. I, I told you, I didn't see, I was here this morning. I didn't see a lot going on there. I mean, there's a couple of stocks right there. There's one right now we're looking at the CLSD down. Uh, you could see it's breaking lower lows. Don't think you can't, stock can't go lower after being at 275. You know, look at it, stock, $14 stock. I mean, it, it's on my short list. So, you know, it's one, one good thing. But uh, going down the list, let me just show you what I found. 
A U T um A A U T ooh, sorry. A Y T U. That one's one I found this morning. I had a little bit of a movement. Cheap little stock, a dollar stock. Listen, this was a $60 stock last year. Stock got decimated. It's one of the first days up. It could be one of those comeback stocks. You know, you know what's going on? It's up 28%. There's another one that looks like a comeback stock. CIFS. Another one got destroyed from $45. You know, it's up. It's at 214 It's up a little bit. We did pretty decent on Friday. You know, it's up 3%. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm stretching here. I'm really stretching here. Um, let me tell you what really interests me. Who remembers here? Remember this stock? H-E-A-R. Remember this stock we traded was at a dollar? Um, I think it was like 50 cents. And the thing just took off and it went all the way to 20. It was not only was it a phenomenal, phenomenal day trade. It was a killer swing trade. And uh, I couldn't believe the thing only went all the way to $50 and about $40. The big thing, what which really shocked me about this, it never came back down that much. So anyway, here's been a really interesting stock. It's not up a lot, but I just wanted to take something from the past. I saw it come up on my radar, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember here. It's one of our big winners of 2018. Um, a couple of the stocks I want to put on the watch list: INUV. There's another one. Um, it's starting to build a little bit of a pendant here. It's up 165 uh, percent. It's gapped up pretty nicely right now, but. It's probably it's probably gonna go down. I mean, listen, if you're up that much, you probably take a profit too. PVPT, another one I found this morning. It up nine percent, down from twenty. It's been going up nice and slow, kind of flat line. Looks one of those really early movers in the morning. And then the CHK, another one that we remember. Chesapeake stock got really beat up. Looks like it's coming back a little bit. A little bit. Everyone could afford to trade this. Anyone could trade it. It's a pretty cheap stock. And uh, Ben is just bringing up the ACB. I'm going to bring that one back up. You know, stock took a huge hit. You know, we did really well. Uh, stock went up pretty nicely from 5 to 12, came back down. Did pretty good on Friday. But uh, but overall, I'm telling you, not a lot going on. It's a, not only is it it's Monday, but it's like the it's, 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 it's the eve of the election. So I'm telling you, a lot of people are just sitting on their hands and want to know where it's going. Now, once again, if you want... You're if you if you're you're a red fan, you know, and you anticipating what's going to happen is great. If you're a blue fan, you anticipate the market's going to go another. Remember, we, we are no red and blue fans here in trading. We're he, in trading in the room. We're all traders, and that is what you need to do. You got to trade the market. Don't 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 be angry. Don't be upset. Some of the biggest catastrophes make the biggest opportunities. So go out there and just think about it. You could be purple too. You could be yellow. Actually, I like green, you know, because if you look at our colors on our website, I'm a green fan. So I think, uh, I think, uh, was it, was it a, a red and blue might make green? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my colors, <laughs> but I like green. If you can see my charts are even green. You know what it is? I'm a Jet fan. So unfortunately, I lost yesterday, but I like green. I like the, I like, I like, I like gardening. I like green. I just like green. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm the green party. <laughs> is that what it's? Anyway, let's go out there and make some money, guys. Just be very careful today. Today's Monday. All kidding aside, listen, it's 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 is not that much out there, and I don't think there's anything that much is going to happen. Uh, remember, I did cancel uh, less uh, phase three, lesson four. It's going to be moved to Wednesday morning, and I says, you know what? It it, it it's kind of like. Not the greatest market. I want to waste a good market. So if you are a gold, uh, if you're a gold, a platinum, and diamond student, just keep in mind, uh, go out there, and um, we're gonna we'll see how it works out on the morning of the eve, the, the day after of the election. See see how how volatile the market is. All right, just be very careful, guys. There's no rush. You got plenty of time to make money. Um, you see something, say something. Actually, I have a new motto: see something, trade something. You know, but on a day like today and a Monday, coming back from a big holiday, uh, coming back from a big weekend, just be very careful. All right, guys. So good luck, everyone. Um, I'll put these stocks on a watch list. And uh, like I said, just uh, let's go out there and enjoy it. Enjoy the uh, enjoy what happens in the meantime. All right. Just don't get too cocky. Be very careful. Thanks, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading.